All right, so this video is one of those shorter in-between videos that I said that I'm going to be making here in this video somewhere here. And I wanted to bring your attention to uh, an interesting effect that I have kind of discovered in this video here where I am building a stripe inspired mesh gradient. And I use the blend mode difference. It's native to Elementor and there are many of this blend mode effects that you can add to headings for example and I think it's only possible to do that for headings and I think it's pretty cool and I wanted to share this with you so let's get into it I am not going to build this I am going to just go through everything that is on the page and explain it because this is going to be quick all right so I have added a container and this container has a full width and the layout is horizontal and what else nothing else has been done to this container next I have two containers in this container and one of the containers contains the image and I have chosen this image because it's more interesting and it makes the, the text that is on the left hand side very interesting just look at this how cool this is right and my second container basically contains the heading and this heading is basically set to have a margin of 100 pixels right and uh, minus 240 pixels left and so i managed to make it be in the center and i have also given it a custom size of 50 percent and obviously the effect that you need to add on this is called blend mode as i said and it's called difference and if you set the color of the text to be for example black you will not see the difference of the blend mode so i will set it to white and if for example you want to change the color of the container that this heading sits in look what's going to happen so let's go through all the colors let me just move this here and let's just try to see let's go to something a little bit more poppy and as you can see, the text changes color as the background changes color. It is pretty cool, but to be honest, my preference is black because it basically balances the, si the left hand side, which is already really colored. So I think this is pretty cool. And honestly, uh, it does have a place and a time to be used, but it is something to keep in mind. All right. So what I want to do is basically just simply add a text editor in here so you can get an idea of how this hero section would basically end up if you use it, if you use this blend mode. All right, I'm going to go all the way to one, two. And let me just change the size of this container. I'm going to say custom and 45. Okay. And I'm also going to add a button in here. And I'm going to set this button to align self start. I, all, I will give it a padding of 15 top and bottom and I think 40 left and right. Let me change the color to white. Let me change the color of the text to black and the border radius of 50 publish it and let's have a look and this is how cool it is i think it's pretty cool and it's pretty useful and it does have that pop effect and it's a little bit out of the box in terms of design so let me know in the comments below if you're going to be using this and let me know if you've used it send me some samples examples because i'm always down to see some inspiration or work from you guys if you'd like to see what else you can build with elementor watch this playlist here or here and if you have gotten any value out of this video please consider subscribing liking and sharing this video and i'll see you next time